Imagine you're riding a bike and suddenly hit the brakes. The bike slows down, but where does all that moving energy go? It doesn't just disappear. It transforms into something else. In this case, the energy from your moving bike changes into heat and sound as the brakes rub against the wheels. This is a great example of how energy is always changing from one form to another, but some of it is lost to the environment as heat, light, or sound. Every time energy transforms, some of it gets released in a way we don't always use. Think about a light bulb. You turn it on, and electrical energy is transformed into light energy, so you can see. But if you touch the bulb, it's hot. That's because some of the energy changed into heat energy instead of just light. That's why old-fashioned light bulbs waste a lot of energy. Too much of it turns into heat instead of useful light. The same thing happens with cars. When a car moves, the chemical energy from fuel transforms into mechanical energy to make the car go. But not all of that energy is used for motion. Some of it turns into heat energy, which is why car engines get hot, and sound energy, which is why cars make noise. Think about a fireworks display. The energy from the explosion transforms into light, heat, and sound. The bright colors light up the sky, but the loud boom and the heat in the air show how energy is spreading in different ways. Even when you run or exercise, your body transforms chemical energy from food into mechanical energy to move your muscles. But you also get warmer because some of that energy turns into heat energy which is why you sweat when you work out. Some devices are designed to reduce wasted energy. For example, energy efficient light bulbs are made to produce more light energy and less heat energy, so that less energy is wasted. Electric cars are designed to use more energy for motion and less for heat and noise. No matter what, energy is never lost. It just moves into different forms. But when it changes, some of it is released as heat, light, or sound, often in ways we can't use. That's why scientists and engineers work hard to design better ways to use energy efficiently, so less of it gets wasted. The next time you turn on a light, ride a bike, or hear a car zoom by, think about where all that extra energy is going.